Cardiac Sony is an inspiration for any child with visual impairments or born under the category of special needs. He is the first blind student to write his CBSE board examination using a computer and pursue science as his elective subject for higher studies. In recognition of his leadership potential and work, Kardec received the Queen's Young Leaders Award 2016 from Her Majesty the Queen. A computer science graduate of Stanford University, Kardec co-founded Project STEM Access popularly known as iSTEM which provides technical conversion of any non-accessible math content to accessible content for the benefit of print disabled. Kardec Sony is a disability advocate and technologist who has not let his disability prove an impediment in the pursuit of his personal and professional goals and has done substantial work in empowering other people with disabilities to be successful tech professionals. He now works with Microsoft Accessibility as a researcher. Hey everyone, it's wonderful to be connecting with all of you today. And uh, it's very heartwarming to see that something that I dreamt of several years ago, uh, dreaming of becoming a scientist, dreaming of getting into computer science, there's now actually uh, so much support and all of you together to actually make many more dreams come true. And uh, uh, a lot of work happening also uh, through this scam to try and develop the scientific temperament. So I couldn't be happier uh, than, uh, you know, basically been talking to you and what I want to do in the next couple of minutes is just basically give you a sense of what I've learned over the years uh, right from when I decided to pursue sciences and the challenges that I faced and all of the different tactics and tips and tricks that I used to make things accessible for myself then uh, but also then uh, to, to go to Stanford to understand how things work in the West and everything that I've kind of learned, uh, you know, in between. And the key uh, thing for me is technology is a big enabler. The sooner you embrace it, the better it is. Uh, there's so much potential in how this technology can empower us to do our best work. So much potential in how we can use it in innovative ways to uh, basically uh, almost like surmount a lot of the barriers that we might otherwise face. And so really getting used to it. Uh, and then experimenting with it. Don't be shy of experimentation. Don't be shy to use uh, technology in ways and then failing, because I failed several times as well when I've tried to use technology. And that is basically a part of it, right? I mean, that's how you understand that one particular approach doesn't work. You then modify it, adapt it, and then you basically go to the next approach, use technology, and you know, then you get it to work for you and for several other people like you. And this last point that I made is really the, the most important point, because when you experiment with technology, for yourself to make things better for you, you end up making it better for the entire community, which is so, so powerful, right? So, and this, of course, transcends all disabilities. I'm talking to, you know, whoever is is out there, uh, whether you're blind, whether you're deaf or hard of hearing, uh, whether, uh, you know, you're, you're neurodiverse or whatever it is, doesn't matter. But how you can leverage this technology to make it make things better for you and for everyone else is really the key. Now, the second thing that comes with technology is also to have the right attitude and mindset, right? And that is very important because you want to make sure that you are taking this on as a challenge, right? Things will go wrong. If there's anyone who tells you that, you know, pursuing STEM is going to be easy and we figured everything out, I'm going to tell you that person is lying. That is not true at all. Okay. So you will face challenges, all of us do, but remember one thing. People without disabilities face a lot of challenges as well. STEM was never easy for anyone, is not going to be very easy for anyone, and will never be easy for anyone. Okay, and this, is, this includes people with disabilities, people without disabilities, all of us included. It sometimes becomes slightly more challenging, and the challenges are slightly different for us as people with disabilities, but that's also the fun and beauty of it. So I encourage you to take it on as a challenge. Really enjoy this ride, enjoy this journey. There will be a lot that you're going to learn through this process, not just academic but also life lessons that are going to set you up uh, for success later on in life as well. Things like, you know, you have to hack. You have to think about alternative ways of doing things. You have to be ready for the unexpected. All of this is something that our disabilities and STEM in particular teaches us when we basically try to um, figure out things that haven't been tried, but that's also things that are going to help you grow as a person and mature as a person. So, you know, in some sense, you're also working on these life skills, these very crucial, critical life skills that will be required when you, you know, are employed or what have you. So really take it in good stride uh, and 
enjoy, have a lot of fun with science, have a lot of fun with all of the challenges you will face and would love to connect with many of you and laugh about those journeys and challenges later on once you will be successful. There's a lot of joy in that. And I can tell you the, the hardest years, the most challenging years of my life were probably grades 11 and 12 when I did not have any of the resources, but they were also the most beautiful, fun years of my life. So again, go for it. Excited to meet you all at some point and laugh about and share all of the wonderful journeys that all of us um, have and are going to be embarking on, uh, you know, insofar as accessible STEM is concerned. Good luck and uh, thank you. 10th Anniversary Chakshamathiai's Free Inclusive Science and Entrepreneurship Camp. Organized by Samagra Shiksha Andhra Pradesh and hosted by Rural Development Trust. From August 21st to 26th, 2023.